Cobden took on Shawnee in the opener of the Weber Township sectional, top of the second. Shawnee's Eli Balto lines the shot to center. Nick Crane scored. Redskins down 2-1. to one. Then it's Shane Burdick, and he pulls it to right for a two-run base knock. Shawnee had a 3-2 lead, but Cobden came storming back. Bottom of the second, Logan Spalt rips this one to left, and Cobden had a 5-3 lead. Now bottom of the third, Dylan Duty will skip another one into left, another run scores, and Cobden goes on to cruise to the 13-3 five-inning victory. Well, the Weber Township sectional move to the turf of SIU due to weather concerns. Cobden Century clashing for the title. Play sloppy early. Caden Childers caught in the rundown here. He scored when the throw got away. Then John Russell also came around to score. And when that throw got away, JT Moore wound up circling the bases for a 4 nothing Cobden lead. You don't see that very often. Centurions rallied, though. Aaron Jones, the base hit to left. And Blake Crane came plate word to cut it to 5-2. Century's rally, though, continued following a lengthy rain delay. In the seventh, Crane single chased home Jeff Wright to tie the game at five and force extra innings. Stayed that way until the tenth when Logan Spelt dumped one into right. Russell came around to score. Cobden tagged on, tacked on three more. Then Spalt shut the door in the bottom of the tenth, and the apple knockers celebrate a sectional title. Unreal, really. I mean, at the beginning of the season, you know, we were thinking regional, but now, I mean, we're thinking state, and it's pretty crazy to think about. We got a lot in common, uh, both a lot of veteran guys, and uh, they come out and play hard and don't stop to the end. And I have to say that, I mean, we obviously did the same, but they're a good team. Give them credit. They battled back, and fortunately, we came out on top. All right, Parker. And the Apple Knockers will meet Neoga Monday in the SIU Super Sectional at 3 o'clock. The Cobden Applenockers won their first baseball sectional since 1987 Saturday. A couple of the players' dads played on that 87 team, which was also the last Cobden baseball team to make it to state. This year's Applenockers tried to do the same today against Neoga in the 1A SIU Super Sectional. Already up 2-0 in the second. John Russell, the RBI ground out. Dylan Duty scored 3-0. Cobden, Neoga got on the board in the bottom of the second. Drew Raymer with the RBI single, cutting it. Two, three to one. Cobden got that run back in the top of the third. Theron Schweitzer will come through with the base hit. That would score Logan Spalt, who had doubled to lead off the inning. 4-1 Cobden at that point. Neoga scored two in the bottom of the third and another in the fourth to tie the game at four. So on to the fifth we go, and it's Schweitzer again. This time, he'll lift the long fly ball to right field. And when the right fielder couldn't catch it, it was ruled an error, a three base error. Austin Louis scored for a 5-4 Cobden lead. Spalt came in relief and shut down the Indians over the final three innings. And the Apple Knockers are headed back to the state semifinals for the first time in 28 years. 5-4, you're fine. Oh, it, it's crazy. I mean, we've been dreaming about it all season. Um, we worked real hard and we, we just knew that we had to do it. It's exciting for our community. You can tell by the crowd here and, and everything that's, uh, that's going on. And uh, people just rallied around this group. And, you know, we're having fun. Kids are having a great time competing. And uh, we're, we're going to do it two more times. Cobden will play the winner of the Lyle Super Friday morning at 10 o'clock at Dozer Park in Peoria. The Lyle Super will be played tomorrow.
years. Wow. Coaches Dana Pearson. since the first day of practice and it's here and it's it's so hard to believe but I'm, I'm ready to come out tomorrow and get it done for sure. It's surreal. I, I don't, if you told me really at the beginning of the year I wasn't, I, we were going to be here, I would have told you no. We went on a five game losing streak but I mean it shows you how much we battle back being here now. I mean our bats got good at the right time. We're hot now so we're ready to win it all. And Compton will meet Oakville in tomorrow's one title game. The Rockets are 5-3 winner over Bethany today. You just gotta, middle of their order is, is from, well, top to about four, five or six, so it's, it's about as good as we've seen this year. Mm -hmm. I think one of the big things was to keep them off the base, and then uh, when they did, you guys, your defense was making plays too early on. Yeah, I mean, you know, they put the balls in the gap. I mean, they were hitting balls off the wall, and you know, sometimes you just get beat. Um, I'd like to play them again. I, I, I don't, I, I go with our guys again, but um, you know, sometimes they do. We just get beat. Hey, 
Uh, I think it was around seven and a half hours. Uh, I'm lucky I got that. I didn't. I didn't think I'd fall asleep until like 2 a.m. I'm so freaking excited, man. I, nah, it's fine. It's fine. How much you got? How much sleep you get? Uh, I'd say about nine hours or so. I actually slept pretty well. It's pretty tired, but man, I'm pretty pumped right now. Uh, I feel like I slept pretty well. Um, I I had to wake up, take pee pee. About 4 a.m. Couldn't go back to sleep for about 45 minutes because you know I was so pumped up. <laughs> Had me some Culver's and some beat ups, and I went to sleep like a baby. You know, I went to bed about 10:45. Woke up at six. I was, took a shower, got more to poop in. I've been pretty pumped ever since then, though. second appearance in the state championship game. The Cobden baseball team tried to one-off their counterparts from 1987, who finished second that year. Apple Knockers looking to bring home the first championship in any boys sport. An all 6 one title game as they took on Oakville, tied at one in the second. John Russell, the RBI single, scores Caden Childers, 2-1 Apple Knockers. They let 3-1, but Rockets got one in the third. Then in the fourth, Jane Gant singles home Evan Gaynor to tie this game at three all. Oakville threatened to take the lead, but Theron Schweitzer robbing Alec Wisniewski to end the threat, the out at first. Rockets loaded the bases in the bottom of the fifth, but JT Moore came on in relief and struck out Ben Shute looking to get out of the inning. Cobden then seized that momentum, taking the lead on a wild pitch, then Moore flared one in to right, and that would bring home Childers for a five to three lead. And later, Logan Spaltz and Schweitzer added two run knocks when the dust settled. Apple Knockers scored six runs to take a 9-3 lead. And Cobden celebrating the first boys state championship in school history, a 9-3 winner. Getting out of those jams is always a very big boost for us. You know, I mean, that's the way it's been all postseason. It seems like we get out of a jam or make a great play, and then we come in and score some runs. That's the great thing about our team. Uh, you never know who's going to come out and do it, so it's really hard for other teams to come out and focus on one key player and just shut them down. It's, it's everybody that does it. It means so much to me. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. I mean, it's finally paid off. All four years of working hard, it, it's just it's so surreal right now. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it, honestly. It's it's crazy to think that we did this. I mean, a few months ago, if you had told me this, I would have I honestly probably wouldn't have believed it, but we did it. People got to see how good our kids are, and uh, it's a great win for our community and, and for Southern Illinois. It, it's nice to play Oakville in the championship. You know, it, to represent the, you know one eight baseball in the South is, is really pretty good. Apple Knockers are the 1A state champions for the 2015 year. The fireworks are going off. <laughs> 